Welcome to another Oral Washington rant. Uh, today's topic is going to deal with relationships. I'm realizing more than ever that many of us, including myself, have been severely damaged and severely hurt within different relationships. You know, within uh, marriages that were supposed to last, but it didn't. Relationships that had false promises, but it didn't. Abusive relationships and the like. Just like I said, I'm, I'm really just realizing that we we all uh, we all walking around here hurt and distraught. We're we're walking around here so so abused, so damaged physically and mentally, and that it's uh it's suspecting us spiritually as well. Uh, we're making irrational decisions now, um, which and includes us entering into new relationships where um, we end up putting more of a demand in the relationship is, instead of just letting love take its course. A matter of fact, um, we, we, we so misguided now about the true meaning of love and what it, what it represents, you know, to us spiritually and also to the Most High God. In this world right now, uh, everything is is backwards now. Everything's being more chaotic every single day. We see so many things that are happening right now. You know, we, we see so many um, brutal shootings. We, we see so much chaotic stuff. We see in the land that's being in disarray. Uh, we we see this nature itself act as though it's, it's rebelling against the the natural divine order. So many of us, you know, we, we have uh, rational explanations about it. We have um, biblical rationalizations uh, about it. We have um, spiritual rationalizations about it. But the, the fact remains the same is that all of us, including nature itself, is hurting. We're lacking so much. We've been abused. We've been tormented so much. We've been, been oppressed so much that it is as though we are we is as though as we're like walking zombies now. We just like savages now, just accepting whatever that comes our way. They try to put a demand on it, you know. So the question is now is that it does have to come to a point now where we we have to say when when enough is enough. And when I'm saying enough is enough, I'm not talking about. You you make an irrational decision and um and say that everybody else have to bow down to your demands or your needs. That's not what I'm talking about because as we see so far, that is not working. Even with nature itself, nature is, itself is demanding balance. But even there, by nature de demanding balance, it's still not happening. You know what I'm saying? It's still being even more chaotic and everything. So something have to happen. It it have to be some type of conclusion of the matter for all of us. You know what I'm saying? For all of our sake, you know what I'm saying? For 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 mankind, for spiritual, for nature, for all of our sakes. You know, something has to happen. Something has to um, transpire. You know. And I, and I came up with a with a conclusion is this is that and I've been saying this for the longest. But my conclusion is is, is this is that when we, we have to come come back. We have, to, we have to come back and really understand what it truly means to really love. And when I say love, I'm not talking about just saying the word or expressing some type of action to try to prove yourself. But I'm talking about actually understanding the true meaning of unconditional love, that, that unfantom love, that love that never ends. The only way we, we can want to come to this conclusion is that we have to... We have to come back to the source, you know what I'm saying? And the only source that I know of for certain in this day and age that we all been taught about is coming back through the Most High God. Now, we, we know we understand through, through, through many uh, sacred, sacred teachings, through many spiritual um, aspects or aspirations, uh, no matter what religion it is or what doctrine you've been teach, it all fences back to the same exact conclusion, which is, is the source, which is the Most High God. 
we, we have to come to the point where we got to understand who, who God really is and who he is in our life. You know what I'm saying? And what and what can we do as as um mortal and immortal beings as well, as as um fleshly but spiritual beings as well. So we can come back to this um, very source that's plaguing us, that's causing us to be so against each other, so against the world, so against nature itself. And matter of fact, it, it seems as though the universe is even against the things that are happening too. Where we, we have to come back and we have to where we have to honestly come to ourselves and realize the errors of our way of ourselves. That this is this is one thing that, that I'm doing right now as as a, as me concern is that I've been through so much within within these past months, not just these months, but throughout this whole entire years or so, dealing with what's going on, dealing with how can I make it, dealing with all this stuff, you know what I'm saying, where the whole fact of the matter is that I need to start focusing on dealing with myself and dealing with this this thing, this thing about unconditional love, you know what I'm saying, and this is the thing that's going to create hope. Because without hope, you you don't exist at all, you know. And love and hope is interchangeable. It's the same thing, just like faith is interchangeable. It's the same as that thing, you know what I'm saying. So I'm not figuring out now more than ever from from a divine level is that I have to understand God's true love for for me individually. Once when I figure that out and understand God's love for me individually, then that way I can express the same exact love for everybody else because it's going to be impossible. If I don't even love myself and I don't even understand the love that God has for me, then, then how in the hell would I be able to express the same type of love for everyone else, especially dealing in relationships, you know? And so, you know, I refuse, I refuse to um, be in a relationship where I'm still damaged but learning and stuff, right? But at the same time, you know what I'm saying, I'm sitting up here abusing and damaged this person that, that I love, you know what I'm saying? All because I'm not understanding a true unconditional love. Then how in the world, if I don't understand it, then how in the world as a man and as a head and as a leader, how in the world can I teach it to her when I don't understand it, you know? The only uh, conclusion of the matter is that I have to uh, understand it for myself so I could make myself available to teach it to not only, uh, not only my uh, significant other, but for others as well. So as I go through this journey, start learning about what, what love really is and what, what it does and stuff, start breaking out of all this tradition about love, start breaking out of um, as, as I said before about the law of love, which I now have, I'm learning now that we honestly use love as a law for real, seriously. You know, so I'm, I'm learning that, and I'm learning that we, we have to break away from all this once and for, for all. If uh, if in the uh, sacred scriptures, if it's if it's written that uh, that grace is sufficient, and it's written that God is love then the only logical conclusion is that it, we have to start walking towards that, you know what I'm saying, and believing in that, you know. So, so that, that's pretty much all I have to say for right now. Uh, for, for everyone that's, that's dealing with, you know, relationship issues, dealing with trying to figure out what love is and stuff, my, my best advice to you is that, First of all, you need to re reevaluate yourself, reevaluate who you really are, reevaluate what love really means to you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to be impossible for you to uh, truly display the, the, the true perfected, unconditional love if you don't even love yourself or you, you don't even understand what love is. Or, matter of fact, you don't even love God, you know what I'm saying? Or understand his love for you. So, so it it be impossible, it be redundant and, re, and impossible for you to express it to someone else, because all you're gonna do is fail every single time, especially if you're using love as as I said as a law. Because when you use love as a law, you're determined to fail. They're just like um, those who um who believe in um those who believe in you know 
and um, doing the commandments and stuff like that, which it ain't no problem with it and stuff. Is that if that's your belief? And I'm not against it. But however, um, when you use that same belief and that teaching as law, you know what I'm saying? Then once you fail, then you fail. You know what I'm saying? Then you try to re-rationalize where you err at. Then you try to fix it. And you try to continue on, then the next time you know failing again, you know what I'm saying? Then what they do, it does something to you psychologically, and from psychologically, it does something to you spiritually as well, and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So honestly, that's actually the the, the true meaning of, of why the sacred scriptures was talking about that grace grace is sufficient and stuff. Not because of, it's trying to destroy a law or destroy what's written in the Word of God, but it's trying to get you into that um that um spiritual understanding is that uh, if you look at law in a point of uh, oppression and stuff like that, then that you always going to be bound you're always going to be oppressed you know what I'm saying but but uh, what, what it teaches about grace and stuff like that and stuff it's teaching you that that you could be um, free from them chains once and for all so you can actually function on the divine level just like how the most high God wants you to function in so my time is up. I hope um, many of you will um, be inspired by, by this particular rant. Uh, and I apologize for not putting as many rants as I attended to. You know, everything has a purpose and for a reason, just like it is a purpose and a reason right now, you know what I'm saying, for me to finally do this particular rant. So I, I wish you all um, much success and love, you know, and always um, remember to always fight faith with faith. And I'm always praying with y'all. God bless y'all.